So this is Burst Arp, a combination Burst Generator and Arpeggiator. Um, the idea is that it produce bursts in the way that a burst generator does, but as it does so, it also produces uh, <coughs> melodic elements if you want to use those in conjunction. Um, right now I'm demoing it with the internal synth that I built into the patch, which I think sounds pretty nice, uh, but it outputs CV, it also outputs MIDI, uh, the MIDI information is found on this second page, which I keep thinking I need to relabel and then never do, so hopefully I've relabeled it by the time you have this patch. Uh, I'm just going to jump into the different parameters because I think they explain what the patch does uh, pretty well. So burst chance or probability is a probability that a burst will occur on any given clock cycle. So if we turn it up a little bit, we'll hear something every so often. This is sort of a generative element, right? Because it is dependent on probability. Uh, we can obviously that's burst chance. Burst chance is one of the parameters that I assigned for CV control. So you can also have that modulated from elsewhere in a patch. So there's an input here and then an attenuverter uh, little control here that determines how much of your incoming CV is directed at burst chance, and that's positive or negative. Um, you may see these on, on a bunch of my patches, and the whole idea there is to build in some sort of attenuation, because I think it's a nice feature when I see it on other modules. It's just a value module controlling a multiplier that the CV input goes into. That's how those are constructed. Uh, the second parameter is burst number. So this is the number of bursts that are generated each time that burst chance comes up. I'm going to use, there's two controls down here. There's a manual trigger and that will trigger a burst on the next clock cycle that arrives after the trigger has been pressed. There's also a manual gate which is more of an on-off thing. Um, <clears throat> and it can go really high, uh, up to 50 bursts per clock cycle. Uh, I generally don't use it like that, but I'm using it more in a ambient generative capacity rather than, you know, burst generator generators also have percussive aspects, you know, putting in rolls and that sort of thing. So it goes quite high. And then there's a density control, which is another CV parameter uh, down here. And density determines uh, how likely it is that the bursts generated in that clock cycle uh, pass through. So It's a way to add some variety in the pattern. You can also modulate it uh, so you could have, you know, the uh, if you send it, say, like a, a ramp wave that was clocked to the same clock as, as the patch, uh, you could have the density rise uh, with the, the burst. Um, here we have an indicator of the tap tempo, or of the tempo, which you can use for tap tempo. Uh, it also accepts clock and MIDI clock, so those will override tap tempo, but you can use tap tempo. Uh, 
if you don't want to or don't have access to a clock or whatever. This can be sort of a standalone thing if you want it to be. So those are the controls for the burst generator. And the output of the burst generator, there are two of them. This one is the bursts, uh, and then there's one for the burst duration. It sends a gate high uh, during the period that, that the bursts occur. Um, so those are the burst generator. Oh, and there's a third one that I guess is related. Instead of sending these gates, you can use the envelopes from this synth voice instead. Um, and set, those are sent out as well. So the other controls, uh, mostly in these blues and pinks and purples, uh, pertain to the arpeggiator part. Up top, there's a, a quantizer. You can set that to whatever you want. Incoming pitch, which comes in here, will be quantized as well. So, um, you know, that'll be used to set the sort of baseline for, for the arpeggiator. Uh, if there's no incoming pitch, there's a pitch control, which I've been using to set the pitch. Uh, MIDI pitch also will affect the, the pitch of the patch, but this can be used as, a, as an offset if you do have another source of pitch information. So if you have, uh, you know, a, a sequence and you want to play an arpeggio above it or, or whatever, you can. Um, but right now, with nothing plugged in, it just sets the base pitch for the arpeggiations. Turn this down a little bit. Uh, here we have different shape selectors. Um, up, down, up, down, random, and random shape, which selects between those different shapes on a per clock cycle basis. So So I like that as an alternative to just pure randomness because it gives some structure and some instability, uh, but you have all of those options available to you. Uh, and then there's a sequencer that's another option that the burst generator can move through. Um, and that's located over here. Uh, and we can um, change the notes around. And you may see the notes um, <sighs> going through only five steps. If you want to change the length of the sequencer, you just set any one of the steps to below A5. Uh, anything above A5, it'll read. We can get a really low note. Um, but I figured you probably didn't want to have a sequence that jumped over, you know, five octaves. You might, but then this isn't the patch to do that in, I guess. Um, but you can set the sequence to whatever length you want uh, just by setting one of the notes to... Uh, uh, below negative A5. So we can get... Um, and then there's a, a range control. The range only affects the other shapes. The sequencer's range is set by the sequence steps. But if we go back to, um, say, up, can affect the range, and that's a bipolar control. So the up can actually become a down that descends below the baseline pitch. Because um, up, when it's inverted, is down. So that's the, the controls. Um, there's a little synthesizer built into this. If you want to use that, I think it sounds pretty good. It's a little FM synthesizer. Uh, and there's controls for attack and decay for its envelope. 
uh, and the delay that it feeds through the, the speed of the delay is set by the um, burst number. So more a higher burst number, the faster the delay will be a lower burst number. It, you know, so it syncs up with each one of the little bursts that are generated, each one of the notes that are generated. The notes for the burst generator, or for the arpeggiator, uh, come out of this output. So that's all the inputs and outputs. <clears throat> and that's the patch. Thanks for checking it out.